Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, so, I'm doing something a little bit different today. Today we're going to be making a coconut cream pie. Let me explain. There are several recipes there, but I'm going to be making a vegan version of it. It involves coconut milk, some cornstarch, and some sweetened, flaked coconut. Now, the recipe that I'm using um, did have a recipe for its own crust, but I went ahead and bought a graham cracker based crust for this pie. So, I'll put that in the cupboard and save that for later because it takes several hours for the filling to set. And we're going to start by prepping the filling. So I'm going to find the filling pot that I'm going to use. And here it is right now. I'm going to get it down. I'm going to put that over here. So we're going to go ahead and find the filling ingredients. Here we go. We're going to get some cornstarch. Here we are. We got our cornstarch. Let me pan this down a bit so that you can see that. And then we're going to grab some sugar. Can't believe I'm about to say sugar, but use that. Um, we got some sea salt over here. And then I'm going to grab some vanilla. I know we have vanilla in here. And here it is. So. Is this thing empty? Why? Wow. Is not good news at all. Yeah, there's just a tiny bit left, so I'll just use whatever left of the vanilla. Oh, shoot. And the last thing we're going to need for the filling is the coconut milk. And then later on, we're going to have Cocoa Whip be involved. So, this is the Cocoa Whip I'm going to be using. And with that said, we got everything we need. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to prepare the pudding filling I should say so then I'm gonna grab a little saucer so I can do this and I'm gonna get a tablespoon out as well So we're going to need three tablespoons of this. Which equates to about 45 milliliters. From there, we're going to add third cup of sugar. Uh, here we go. Let's find the third cup. Here we go.
So let's get some sugar out and and a pinch of sea salt. There's that. Let's mix this in. Bind them together. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this off to the side and I'm going to go get a measuring cup for coconut milk. two-thirds or of nearly almost 400 milliliters of coconut milk. So let's shake it up. Yeah. Here we go. So, what we're going to do is we're going to power on the pan, or pot I should say, and we have to put this over medium heat and from there, we're going to get a whisk. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put this in. And we're going to whisk in the coconut milk to avoid clumps. Here we go. Now we're going to keep whisking this until it bubbles and then we're going to reduce the heat and simmer it for about five more minutes and we're going to get a spatula to take over from the whisk. Alright, here we go. So five more seconds now and the pudding will be done. It has a pudding like consistency and that's the that's where we want it. So we're gonna scrape this around, make sure that we didn't miss any big chunks. Make sure they're well incorporated. I'm gonna take it off the heat now. Now I'm gonna drizzle some over the top. I want you to see this. If you can see the ribbon ish on top of there. That's exactly where we want it. So let me take the timer off. So I'll just put the spatula here. Now, now that I've taken it off the heat, I'm going to move the pan over to the other side so that can get cleaned out. Let me move this over so you guys can see this. There we go. So, we're going to take our vanilla and we're going to put it in. This is just whatever is left in the jar. But if you got tons of it, use a teaspoon. This 
almost equates to it. So. We're gonna whisk in the vanilla. And now we're gonna prepare half a cup of sweetened flaked coconut. So I'm gonna grab the other half cup here. get half a cup of sweetened flaked coconut. For those of you that have seen the five layer bar recipe, this is the exact same material that's used in it. So let's bring some of this out. And of course I'm going to save the rest so that I can roast some for the topping. So let's and now we're going to put this in here. So now that I have the sweetened flake coconut in here, we're going to whisk this in one more time. This will help it set as well as keep it all together. Also gives it a nice crunchy taste. From here, we're going to put this into a bowl. So we're going to get a bowl here. What bowl will I use? So I'm going to find a bowl. Here we go. I'll just go ahead and use a ceramic bowl. You know what? I found a glass container. We'll just use a glass container for this one. So, let's move that in here. And plop this in. And this is the reason why uh, we let it cool because there's steam coming off of it. So that's why I put this into a, the container here and we're going to put it in the fridge in just a minute. So now that I've got that, we're going to let this cool down for just a minute. For just a couple minutes until it's cool enough to be put in the fridge. And then we're going to put it in the fridge and then I'm going to come back and... I'm going to come back later in the night to fold in the cocoa whip and transfer to another container and then in the morning we can put the whole pie together and get that ready to be served. So now that it's cooled enough, um, we're going to put the saran on. Now the saran is going to help it stay in place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a nice oversized cut. So now I'm going to tap this in. Now I'm going to push this down. Until it touches the line over here. There we go. So now I will just put that over. So now I can just feel it. 
if necessary. And now I'm going to pop that into the fridge. And before I do, I'm going to put away the rest of the ingredients. Be right back. All right, now that I cleaned up, we're going to put the filling into the fridge. And I'm going to come back in three hours. It's about 1800 now, so I'm going to come back in 2100. And I'm going to prepare the cocoa whip. And then from there, I'm going to put the whipped mixture back into the fridge. And then I'm going to pop it into the pie crust and then we're going to let that sit overnight. So I'll get back to you after, definitely after the sun sets. Alright, so we had a very nice sunset here in San Diego, but um, we're now approximately halfway through with the filling cooling process and we're gonna have a look at it we're gonna I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna place a finger here again it's just saran so it won't be contaminated and it's pretty much cooled down it's just setting and that's what's gonna happen over the next over the next hour and a half so that when we're ready for the cocoa whip it'll be nice and cool so that it doesn't fall apart. All right, everybody. So it is now the three hour mark and we're about to get the filling out of the fridge. And I'll we'll bring this over to the other prep station over here. All right, so now we're going to take the saran off. Well, first, it is nice and set. It looks just like a pudding right here. And we're going to turn this into a custard-ish cream, which is the consistency where we want it for this type of pie. As I was about to say, let me move this down here a bit. So I'm going to go get the Cocoa Whip. Now, <clears throat> I think this was, oh wait, what's this one? Here we go. So, here's the Cocoa Whip. There's a little bit in there, but that won't be enough. So I'm going to get some out of the another tub that I got earlier today and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually I'm gonna transfer the the um, the uh, coconut cream to the cocoa whip here's what the cocoa whip looks like out of the container and we're gonna open it up Ta-da! so I'm going to get The, the spoon here and we are going to ooh nice and lovely here so what we're going to do is ooh look at that jiggle look at that you see the jiggles right there so now that it's jiggly we can plop this all in here And we're about to fold some more Cocoa Whip into this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a knife. And I'm going to take a chunk of the Cocoa Whip. And I'm going to put that in here. That will do it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to slightly... I can move this out of the way now. 
So I'm going to lightly stir this in. So we're basically folding the Cocoa Whip into the base so that it turns into cream. And because it will occupy the final volume of this container, I'm going to use this container to hold the filling until it's ready for the crust, which will probably be about at most an additional hour from this. So it was 2100 when I took it out. So next time I'll be back, we'll be at 2200. So I'm just monitoring the consistency levels in here just to make sure that I've conveniently folded everything over. And of course I'm going to add, you can add more if necessary, so just to demonstrate it, I'm going to add a little bit more of the Cocoa Whip, and again I'm going to save the rest of it. The rest of the whip that I'm going to do, re save, I'm going to save that for the top of tomorrow. So that pretty much, I think this is pretty much, again they recommend half of the container be be used for the filling and the other half to be used for the topping. And then I think maybe tomorrow I'll roast some more flaked coconut for the for the top. There we go. It's now that's looking more like the coconut creamish consistency that we want. So we're just gonna make sure that we stir this whole thing in. You can see we're just going to stir that, make sure everything is well incorporated before I put the finished filling into the fridge. Now again, I'm just going to make sure that I label everything so that I don't, nobody forgets what it is. So let's smooth this out. So this is the exact, this is kind of where we want it, so just going to make sure that we put enough filling in there. So, here's that. Alright, so here's the finished filling. Ta-da! So, I'm going to taste this real quickly using the excess of the spoon. It's good. So now I'm going to put the lid on that. Let me get a, a paper towel. I'm using Bounty paper towels, the clean picker upper. So I'm going to use this clean picker upper and I'm going to wipe around the container and around the thing. Just get all the rest excess. So that way it could be a clean fit around the lid. Just making sure I don't... There we go. So that way it will be a clean fit on the, the lid. So I'm going to put the lid on. I need another one over here. So we're going to plop the lid on. Ta-da! So now we got that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be right back. I'm going to grab... I'm going to grab some, a post-it note real quickly so I can write this down. BRB. So now that I have... Um, the filling all put in, I'm going to grab a pen and I'm going to make a little post-it note over here and it's going to read da -da -da -da. pie filling
And now we're going to put this on this lid. And then we get scrape the excess cocoa whip off this knife. Close that lid up. And I'm going to taste test the cocoa whip all by itself now. All right. We brought the fridge back in here. And now we're going to put these two things in the fridge again. It is now just a little bit past 2100. So at 2200, we are going to be back with the pie crust. We're going to plop it in and then we're going to let that pie chill overnight and they'll get back to you in the morning. Oh, there goes the timer. Oh, hold on a second. Hello? We've been trying to reach Hello? you concerning your car's extended warranty. Mm -hmm. You should have received some... All right, come on. Let's bring up the recipe again. All right, everybody, so... The time has come to open our fridge again and take out the cocoa whip. The, I mean, not the, the filling for the pie. Here we go. Let's take this out. So I'll meet you guys back over at the other station where we're going to finish up with our operations tonight and we'll meet you back in the morning. All right, everybody. Let's get the crust out now. It's time to bring the crust into the picture. So, let's take this out. I'm going to peel off the label. And where possible, I'm going to get the backing off of here that held the label in place. while it was at the store. It's a crumb crust, it's a graham cracker crust. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the, the tray here and we're going to open it up all the way so that we can open this thing up a bit. All right, everybody, let's lift it open. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this off the side and I'm going to put the other label on that. So, let's get a, let me get a little organized here. So, let's open up the pie filling. And it's nice and set now. As you can see, this is the finished coconut cream. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a knife, I'm gonna grab another knife. I'm gonna take the filling and we're going to transfer this whole container into the pie crust. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. Plop that in the pie crust. All right, all right, so there's that, and I'm gonna get the lid off of here too. Let's 
All right. Now, we're going to spread the filling. Make sure it's making sure that it is going to be evenly distributed across the crust. So the whole intent here is basically just making sure we have an even layer before we put the pie into the fridge and then we're going to come back in the morning so um, you can see the rest of it. All right, there we go. All done. Now that the finished pie is in its crust, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the lid on this time the opposite way. I'm going to close the lid up, seal it together. And now that that's done, I'm going to put the finished pie in the fridge and I'll sit over. All right, everybody. Now that our operations are done for the night, we're going to put this pie into the fridge where it will sit overnight. And in the morning, we'll come back and top it up. And I want to wish everyone a very good night and we'll see you guys in the morning where we'll finish up the rest of the pie. See you then. Good morning, everybody. Let's have a look at the pie now that it spends the night in the fridge. Ooh, it looks good. Look at that. It's nice and set, as you can see. So within the next few hours, I'm going to roast some coconut flakes with a topping. I'm going to top it up and then we'll serve it with lunch. It's going to be so good. It's almost done. So here are some coconut flakes that I'm about to toast. And once these are done, we're going to top the pot. And here we are with our finished roasted coconut and now it's time to finish the pie. All right so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and put our cocoa whip on. I'm just gonna spread it around make sure it forms a nice even layer. So now I'm gonna top it with some roasted coconut. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, all you gotta do is just wait a bit, then cut and serve, and enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next video.